YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about Fidu Cider. Let's check it out. One half cup of vanilla yogurt, uh, one apple, half a cup of apple cider, one and a half cup of tables, uh, one and a half tablespoons of honey, one and a half teaspoons each of cinnamon and nutmeg, and half a cup of fetal remains. Blend all with ice. Enjoy. Under 16 weeks justification for best taste. You see this last part? One and a half fetal remains. I mean, one third cup of fetal remains under six weeks for the best taste. There's always been sick people in this world. Um, but let's just call this what it is, man. At some point, I like to play word games. I like to, you know, have fun. I try to beat around the bush. I do that. Because it's hard for me to call everything evil. But this is evil. Absolutely. You're talking about blending up fetal remains in 16 weeks for the best taste. Abortion forever. And this is what people don't want to admit. This person's outright coming and saying the quiet part out loud. But let's be honest with ourselves. People who fight to the death for abortion, my body, my choice. They're fighting for the lives to be ended of a baby. A baby. And they don't care. I'm sure you guys have seen what happens in those clinics. But let me explain it to you in the best way I can without being too graphic. They take the kid. They take clamps. They rip them asunder. Okay? Ripping body. These What people don't understand, they think that when you um, take a baby out of a woman's womb, that it's a nice, easy, and sometimes they use a vacuum if it's, it's uh, early enough. And it just crushes them. What people think is like, Oh, you know, it's like it's like taking it's like ripping off a piece of lettuce. You grab and you yank until it rips off. And you keep doing that to the point where they even crush the baby's head and rip the baby's head off. The fetus's head. It is one of the most graphic things I've ever seen in my life and we've all seen graphic things. But people make it seem like it's just a simple thing. And when we, when we ever get to the point where we just think a baby's life means absolutely nothing, another just keep ripping. And I understand everybody has a billion scenarios that they always give me. And yes, I've had this discussion in person, been fighting for this for I don't know how long. I tell everybody the same thing. You don't get to take somebody's life because of the situation that brought them here. You don't get that. You've got to learn. You can't do that because it's important to understand that this is serious life. You don't ever get to make the choice of, well, I, I, I got it. I understand people want to say, you know what? It's all because of this and that. You want to live this life and tell people, hey, she went through something hard. The man she did it with, it was terrible, terrible situation. I understand. Here's the beautiful thing about life. And when I say beautiful, I mean the hard, tragic things about life. There is nothing always beautiful about life and how we're born. I'm a drug baby. Drug baby. I struggle with addiction a lot of my life. There is no reason that some people would have thought that I was, should have been born. Even me and my brother, both drug babies. Right? Our mother was on drugs. Hardcore. A lot of people didn't even believe in me when I was growing up. Because I was always that kid who was born of a mother and father who did drugs. Mother, mother and father both went to prison in my young age. I watched some of the most and I, I watched some of the most graphic stuff as a kid. I saw something a child should never see happen. I won't give, go into much in detail. I will tell you, though, there was a lot and a lot of violence and blood that I had to see that I thought I'd never see as a child, that you probably never thought you would see. Did that, that mean that you, I should have avoided being born because of the stuff I was going to see growing up? 
because I was going to realize what my father really was. Maybe I was going to realize that my father actually did stuff to my mother, that I was born in this world through a devious act. Should I not be born and not even have the chance to grow up and give my experience to other kids who are probably born in this same situation, born into a drug family and all this stuff? Should I, should I have no right to life? It's going to suck. It's going to be traumatic. The hardest thing about this life is realizing how much, how great it is and how much it sucks. Realizing how great life really is and all the beauty there is and just how bad and how much evil there truly is. And people want to keep you from ever experiencing that. They want you to think that life is beautiful rainbows. Like every kid is going to be born because their parents were married and blissfully in love. Kids are going to realize some of their mistakes or that some man took advantage of some woman. I get that. But you can't hide it. You should, you should allow a child to still be born into that because that is life. It's ugly. It's gross. It's disgusting. We see the stuff that happens to children today that get taken off these streets every single day to get put into some porn video that you enjoy, that I was foolish enough to enjoy, not knowing what I was looking at. We were all brainwashed and we get into this stuff. I lost my virginity at eight years old. Life is disgusting, but life can be very beautiful for people like me and you. We can show people that you can come out of this. They say that a flower can be born in a concrete jungle. You know what I mean? Not born, but grow in a concrete jungle. We have to continue to show people the beauty of life. If we always fight for the worst outcomes and tell every single body, this is how ugly life is. You don't deserve to be in it. We are doing no better. We are trying to create a false world that does not exist. Do your part. Show people how beautiful the world can be and how you can become something. Because if you try to hide this from every single body and just start taking the lives of babies so they aren't born into this because mommy wasn't ready for you to be born or something, like I said, tragically happens. I'll say this. Life will go on. Life will move forward. And some people are going to be born into this world and life's going to suck for the first 40 years. There's going to be abuse. There's going to be molestations. There's going to be some of the most disgusting things you can ever think of. But everybody has a right to get through it with people like me and you to help. Will we be able to stop everything? Of course not. But that doesn't mean we start taking people's lives. Goodbye.